This channel do not condone piracy of any kind. Asking for, providing or discussing illegal download links is not allowed. <laughs> Hello Game Daddies, Game Daddy here, and welcome to our channel where you're never too old for video games, and we're all about to dive into the world of emulation on Android. In today's exciting episode, I'm going to teach you the best settings for Duck Station Android, so grab your joysticks and game on. But before we start if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be updated with the latest news, tutorials, and anything about emulation on Android. Let's go! To achieve the best graphics for 2D and 3D games, first tap the cog icon and then graphics tab, under the graphics tab look for internal resolution option, set your internal resolution to 2x. As you can see 3D models are better in 2x, setting the internal resolution higher than 2x is unnecessary and will display unnoticeable changes since we're going to play it on a mobile device. It will just eat up your phone's resources that will cause a decline in performance, sticking to 2x is highly recommended. Next is set your texture filtering to bilinear. With bilinear 3D models texture will appear smoother rather than pixelated. Now, set your sprite texture filtering to bilinear, no edge blending. This option is similar to texture filtering, the only difference is it smoothens the pixelated sprites just for example this background. Next is look for post processing tab, turn on enable post processing, and then add shader, scroll down and look for super XBR. This option is similar to texture filtering and sprite texture filtering, it smoothens pixelated textures. The reason why we have to add this shader is there are still textures in-game that are left pixelated and not affected by texture filtering and sprite texture filtering alone. Here are the results. Now that we're done smoothing pixelated textures, let's turn on PGXP geometry correction. For some reason it makes your 3D model steady and not shaky. Inspire me to make more videos like this by subscribing to the channel.